Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Today I'm going to talk about the kernel. That is the Linux kernel and not popcorn. So let's get to it. We're going to open up Firefox. Dot org. So this is the Linux kernels and all Linux distributions use the Linux kernel and some Linux distributions use the Linux kernel I think <laughs> directly from here without manipulating it and some devs take the Linux kernel from here and they tweak it to work with their distribution I think now I'm not 100% sure so if you know more about this than I do and you want to correct me on this please let me know in the comments of my video so this is the latest release right here 6.6.8 and that would be this one right here the stable kernel now it came out on uh, December 20th and the kernel that I use now this kernel here is also stable kernel and it was last released on November 28th, but it's EOL, -E which is end of life. So soon, this kernel will disappear from this list in a couple days, maybe in another week or two. If you come to this website, this kernel won't be in the list anymore. Now, I usually use the long-term support kernel, which is 61.69. Now this was also released on December 20th, and this is the one that I use, it's LTS, the long-term support kernel. So what I'm gonna do is open up a virtual machine and of Arch Linux, and I'll be back. So I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux, and I'm gonna open up the terminal, make it a little larger, Let's just do a Neo fetch. This is Arch Linux. So let's clear the screen. Now let's do a uname R. So you can see I'm running 6169.1 LTS. Now if we go back to Firefox, we can see this is the one I'm running. 6169, which came out on December 20th. The Linux kernel archives, or kernel.org, they update their kernels usually twice a week. Sometimes uh, it's once a week. And of course, during uh, the Christmas holidays and the Easter holidays, there's a bit of a lag. And sometimes it's once a week, but usually throughout the year, they're updating the kernels twice a week. And what they're doing by updating them is they're bug fixes. They're bug fixes and security fixes. Now, they recommend that you use the most stable kernel. And especially if you have a new machine and if you have new hardware. So if you have a new machine and new hardware, uh, the most stable kernel will have the things included in it that will enable the new hardware to run. But And they recommend that you use the stable kernel, but I usually use the long-term support kernel, the LTS, because I like it. Now, some of the uh, older distributions, there are other Linux distributions that use like really old kernels. So for instance, oh, before I go there, uh, what I want to do is, let's open up another uh, workspace. Let's type in, and I already did a video on this to tell you the truth, but I just want to quickly show you this. If you go to the wiki, the Arch Linux wiki, and type in kernel. These are the officially supported kernels by Arch Linux. There's the stable the hardened, the long-term support kernel, the real-time kernel, and the real-time long-term support kernel. 
and a Zen kernel. So there's six. Now in the Arch Linux, uh, the AUR, the Arch User Repository, there are other kernels in there as well. But if you download those kernels, you'll probably have to compile them yourself and it's going to take a long time and I don't recommend it. Now, when we were at kernel.org, we it doesn't show this hardened one or the real-time ones or the Zen one. Right? So I think, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, that Arch Linux takes the kernels and they've modified them. And the Arch devs are modifying them to make this real-time kernel times two and this end kernel and the hardened kernel. But the only ones from this list that I see on kernel.org are the stable one and the long-term one. So let's go back to kernel.org. Kernel.org up, updates these kernels at least once a week and throughout the year, most of the time it's twice a week. And what they're doing is updating them with bug fixes and security fixes. Now, eventually, and I think this kernel here, this kernel here, this stable kernel, this one here, this latest release one, this changes to a brand new kernel, I think every three months, might be every two months or every three months, it changes to a brand new kernel. And when it changes to a brand new kernel, it has things in it that enable newer hardware to work. So that's why they're always updating this and this will change. It probably won't even be a six. It might be a 6.7.1 or it could be a 6.8.1 or this even, even this number could change to a seven. I don't know what the next number is gonna be, but this changes every three months. And then this one will move down to line, to, this one will move down to this line and it will have E-L-O-L on it. So like I said, this will change every two to three months to a brand new kernel with new stuff to make new hardware work. But all these updates, these point, like this is on point eight right now, these point eight release and all these point releases down here, they're security and bug fixes. So anyways, like I was saying, uh, kernel.org updates the kernels at least once a week, but most of the time it's twice a week. And when they update a kernel, Arch Linux will update it uh, usually within a day or two. So if we go home, let's go to uh, Linux. So this is the stable kernel, 6681. This was updated on December 23rd. Kernel.org updated the kernel on the 20th. So it... So what Arch Linux does is when these kernels get updated, they test the kernel. Now, I don't know if they're tweaking the kernel or not to make it work better with Arch, but I know they're testing the kernel. And the kernel will go into the testing, and then usually within two to three days, sometimes even same day, the kernel will get updated. So this kernel was updated on the 20th. Arch Linux updated on the 23rd. Now let's go to the LTS kernel in Arch Linux. Now, now the LTS kernel got updated the same day. Look at this. So this long-term support kernel was updated at 6169, 6169. It was updated on December 20th and Arch Linux 6169 updated on December 20th. So sometimes Arch Linux will update it the same day. Usually it's the next day and the odd time it's two, two to three days, but usually it's the same day or the next day. So that's another reason why I like Arch Linux because they keep up to date in the kernels and because the updates for the kernels have security fixes and bug fixes in them. Now, the other thing is, is that Arch Linux doesn't support these older long-term support kernels, although you can get these in the AUR, the Arch User Repository, but then you're going to have to uh, compile them, and it's probably going to take longer to install them. And I never tried it, 
but I, I don't recommend it. I would just recommend going with the official Arch Linux kernels. So let's go back here. Now let's go to my VM and I'm going to shut down and I'm going to open up my Debian virtual machine. I want to just check out the kernel and then I'm going to close the video. Let's close that. So I'm going to open up my Debian virtual machine. Let's open it. Let's play it. Let's make it full screen. Let's hit enter. And it's just booting into my uh, Debian 12 system. And I'm going to type in my password. Oh, my, sorry. I typed in my username. Now I'm going to type in my password. And I know. Looks like my Arch Linux system. But this is Debian. I'm going to open up a terminal. And just to prove it's Debian, let's do uh, Neo Fetch. And you can see I'm in Debian 12. So I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to do uname R. And now look at this. So we're in, this is Debian, pure Debian, not a distribution based on Debian. This is pure Debian. We can see we're on kernel 610-16. So let's bring it down and let's go back to so what did i say we were on let's go back there so we're on 61016 so here we're on the 61s so they're on they're not on these really old kernels they're on the most current long-term support kernel but they're only at 0.16 and it should be at 0.69 so if we go back here see they're on 61 0-16 but this is on 61.69 now as far as i know and don't quote me on this because i could be wrong and if you want to correct me in the comments please go ahead and correct me i think debian does backport security fixes into the kernel so even though they're using an older version of the most current long-term support kernel i think they do backport and put into it bug fixes and security fixes but i could be wrong so that is that and i don't know if there's any other distributions that are using these really old kernels they could be but they're still active releases so if you click on release active kernel releases this explains what these kernels are what they're about you can read about this yourself. I'm not going to read it to you. Pre-patch, mainline, stable, long-term. And it tells you pro the projected end of life. So for instance, this 6.6. .6, so if we go back, uh, let's go back here. So right now, we're you, the most stable kernel is the 6.68. Or up here, you can see it. 6.68 now if i click it on it's going to download it into my download folder and the reason for that is that it's possible for you to download a kernel right from kernel.org and install it in your system yourself do not do that unless you're highly advanced and know what you're doing don't do that just that they recommend you use the kernel that your distribution gives you so anyways, this stable kernel is the most current kernel, 668. And let's go back to uh, the, the other page. So this 6.6 .6 release, the projected end of life is December 2026. And the 6.1 kernel is the one that I'm using. It's the long-term support kernel. It's also December 26. And most of these are December 26. This 4.9 kernel, it's going to end next December. And the 4.14 kernel is going to end. Oh, this one's going to end in January. So next week. So it tells you that. And it tells you when they were released as well. So this is interesting. And you can also read. Here it tells you. You know, many distributions provide their own long-term maintenance for kernels that may or may not be based on these and so forth and let's go down now just one thing before i go to uh, my conclusion and that's this greg croa hartman he is one of the main maintainers at 
the Linux kernel archives. So he works on the Linux kernel. He's a maintainer. And over here, there's an article written by him, Gray KH. Well, it's from 2018, so it's kind of old, but it's not outdated. And I read this a long time ago, and I think I'm going to read it again. And I'm going to leave the link to this in the show notes so you can easily find it. And this is fantastic. What kernel should I use? And it goes into explain into a long explain. I'm not going to read it to you, but it goes into explain what kernel to pick. And it talks about uh, the stable release and the long-term support release and the older long-term support release and unmaintained kernels. It's not a long read, but it's very interesting. It talks about distribution kernels, the latest stable release, the latest long-term release, which is the one I use, right? So the kernel that I usually use is the most current long-term support kernel. And then there's the stable, right? But I always use this one. So we'll go back to the article. That's the latest long-term support release. It talks about that. Uh, let's go down. It talks about older long-term support kernels. Goes down there, goes down there. It gives you a lot of information on maintained kernels and summary. And then he's recommending for a laptop or desktop to use the latest stable release kernel, which would be this one. But I don't. I use the most current long-term support kernel. But I have older computers, so I don't have to worry about newer hardware not working with a long-term support kernel. So I highly recommend that you read this, especially if you're new to Linux, uh, you're a beginner. I highly recommend that you read this, and I'm going to leave the link in the show notes. And that's it. About a week or so ago, I did a video on explaining the different kernels that one can use in Arch Linux and I showed how to change them and how to have more than one kernel in Arch Linux and how to choose which kernel you log into when you boot up your machine. And today I took you to kernel.org and I talked about the kernels and I explained what they are and how they work and I took you to a website where one of the maintainers of kernel.org wrote a long article about the kernels, explaining what they are and recommending which ones you should use. And if you're new to Linux or if you're a beginner, or even if you're more advanced, I highly recommend that you read that article and that article is going to be in the show notes. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mansion.